Hey there, Mr. Weaver here, and this is 8th grade, module 10, lesson 3, volume of spheres. After this lesson, you need to be able to use the formula for the volume of a sphere to find the figure given its radius or diameter. Let's learn. Volume of spheres. A sphere is a set of all points in space that are a given distance, known as the radius, from a given point known as the center. In our picture here, we can see that the radius is now going in three dimensions. It's going every which way towards the end, forming our ball shape here, our sphere. The volume of a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed. So it's a little bit different than a cylinder or a cone. Instead of involving the height, it involves the radius again. So four thirds pi r to the third power. Example one, find volume of spheres. Find the volume of the sphere, express your answer in terms of pi. Just like with cones and cylinders, we're gonna start with the volume formula for the object we're given. So a sphere is V equals four thirds pi r to the third power. Here we just need the radius. So looking at the picture from the center to the outside, we have a radius of six. So let's replace r with six. 6 to the third power, so 6 times 6 times 6 is 216, and then we need to multiply by 4 and divide by 3, we end up with 288. As with the other objects, we're looking to decide are we using a calculator or leaving our pi symbol. We're doing in terms of pi, so we can leave it. This has a volume of 288 pi cubic millimeters. Check your understanding. Find the volume of this sphere. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have said 972 pi cubic meters. Our formula 4 thirds pi times the radius cubed. So the radius is 9. We want to the third power. And then 4 thirds is the same as multiplying by 4 and then dividing by 3, if you want to think of it that way. And we still need our pi symbol, but because since it says in terms of pi, I can attach it at the end. So for this, I'm going to use a calculator. 9 times 9 times 9 is 729, and then I need to multiply by 4 and divide by 3, or if I divide it by 3, I get 243 times 4. 243 times 4 is 972, and then leaving it in terms of pi, so I attach that pi symbol at the end. 972 pi cubic meters, or we could just put m to the third power for meters cubed. Example 2. Find volume of spheres. A spherical stone found in Costa Rica has a diameter of about 8 feet. Find the volume of the spherical stone, round to the nearest tenth. So let's start with our sphere formula. Volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. Let's plug in r. We are given a diameter of 8, which means our radius is 4. 4 to the third power is 64. 64 times 4 divided by 3 is 256 over 3. We'll leave it as a fraction for now. We're about to multiply with pi since it says to round to the nearest tenth. So 256 divided by 3 times pi. Using a calculator, our volume is about 268.1 cubic feet. Check your understanding. Read through the situation and find the volume. Pause the video now and complete this check. Check your answer. You should have found 463.2 cubic inches. So diameter is 9.6. We want the radius half of that, so 4.8. Using a calculator, we can plug it in. So 4 thirds pi times 4.8 to the third power. We can use our calculator and we should get 463.2. When you're using the calculator, I would do this part first, then multiply by 4, then divide by 3. So find 4.8 to the third power, times 4, divide it by 3. Once you get a value there, then just hit times pi on your calculator so you can get the correct thing, and then rounding to the nearest tenth. Example 3. Find volume of spheres. A training volleyball has a diameter of 10 inches. 
a pump can inflate the ball at a rate of 325 cubic inches per minute. How long will it take to inflate the ball? So let's find the volume of the volleyball. We'll round to the nearest tenths. And then to figure out the rate, we can divide by how much air is being put into it each minute. The volume for the volleyball would be 4 thirds pi times the radius. We have the diameter of 10, so radius is 5, 5 cubed. If we calculate that out, we can find that the volume is about 523.6 cubic inches. Now that we know the volume of our volleyball, we can use a proportion to find the time it would take to inflate it. So we are given a rate of 325 inches cubed, cubic inches, every minute. If we need to get to 523.6 inches cubed, how many minutes would that take? So solving this proportion, I can use equivalent ratios or I could cross multiply and divide. Either way, I'm going to find that it takes about 1.6 minutes to inflate the volleyball. I can just divide 523.6 divided by 325 and I get that value. If we're actually thinking about in terms of time, six tenths of a minute is about 36 seconds. So it would take one minute and 36 seconds to inflate this volleyball or 1.6 minutes, depending on how specific they need for your answer. Check your understanding, read through the situation and figure out how long it will take to inflate the balloon. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have found that it would take 0 0.6 minutes or about 36 seconds. If we're figuring this out, so first let's find the volume 4 thirds pi, the radius is 3, so 3 to the third power, 3 to the third power is 27, divided by 3 is 9 times 4 is 36, so 36 times pi, if we use a calculator it's about 113.10 or 09, 113.1, it's going to do 200 per minute. So if we take our volume 113.1 and divide that by 200, we get 0 0.56, but it says nearest tenth, so 0 0.6. So it's going to take about 0 0.6 minutes. If we want to turn that into a more conventional thing, then 0 0.6 minutes is 36 seconds. Since one tenth of a minute is 6 seconds times 6, 36 seconds. Let's learn. Volume of hemispheres. A circle through the center of a sphere separates a sphere into two congruent halves, each called a hemisphere. So a hemisphere is half of a sphere. To find the volume of a hemisphere, we can take a whole sphere and divide it by 2. Or you could just say it's 2 thirds pi r cubed instead of 4 thirds. But if that's something that you don't want to have to remember, remember a sphere and then divide it by two to get a hemisphere. Example four, find the volume of hemispheres. Find the volume of the hemisphere, round to the nearest tenth. So here we're going to use the formula they gave us, V equals two thirds pi r cubed. Our radius is five, so let's plug that in. Two thirds times five cubed ends up being 250 over three. Multiplying that by pi using a calculator, 261.8. So the volume of this hemisphere would be about 261.8 cubic centimeters. Check your understanding. Find the volume of this hemisphere, round to the nearest tenth. Pause the video now, complete the check. Check your answer. You should have said about 1072.3 cubic inches. First, the radius is 8. So if I'm doing 2 thirds times pi, my radius is 8 to the third power. Plugging this in, 8 times 8 times 8 is 512. Times by 2, I would get 1024 and then dividing by 3. That might be divisible by 3, but I'm going to be multiplying by pi in a second here anyway. So 1024 divided by 3 times pi, using a calculator, I get 1072.33, which rounding to the nearest tenth, that would round down, so just 0 0.3.